from gfy.ag. So you signed up for a free trial or you get our product already and you're wondering what to do with all these pivots. I keep telling you guys how important this product is. They are important supply and resistance zones. So if it's above it, it will and stays above it, it'll likely go to the next one, 1457.62. I'll go over that in another video, but let's start and I'll show you what to do with these. So this is TradingView, it's a free software and it's pretty easy to use. So you come in here at 1440, option H. So it's a two-star pivot. I like to use an orange line for a two-star pivot. And then we go up to the next one, 1457. Option H, and that's an orange line, 1457 to 62. And that's a three-star pivot. Now, what I like to do with three-star pivots is make them yellow, and I like to make the font bigger. So when I'm looking at my charts, I can kind of tell that this is an important area. So then you click on this circle button. That means that's the on trading view. And there you go. There's your there's your three star pivot area. This is a huge area right in here. And I'll go into that later. But for now, we'll do this. So now we have a 1471, which is a one star pivot. That's just a point of interest. What I like to do with those, and I'll show you this here in a second. 1471. Bang. Now with those, I'll make a one point. Nope. Screwed that up. Give me one second here. Bear with me. Make that back to four. I forgot to switch the line. Look at me. Barely can change the home screen on my phone, so I don't know why you guys are listening to me in the first place. So now we got the circle on 1471. We change that to a light blue line and we make it thin. Just so you know, that's a spot. It's not necessarily going to hold anything, but it's a point of interest between three star pivots typically. Okay, then we come up to 1481, option H. Now we gotta change all this configurations back to yellow, three star pivot, nice and fat. Oh, oh that was wrong. Oh, please, look at me, learning to use the interwebs. So here's your 1481. Make sure you're clicked on it. There's my circle. It's a common mistake. I even did it. It's a three star pivot, so it's gold. And I make it super fat. Okay, now 1492, we're gonna change it to orange. We're gonna make it two points wide. Okay, now I missed it by a little bit. So this is what I do. I go up to this cog settings, go right here, and you can move this up or down, hit okay. There you go, 1492. Then we've got 1502, so two star, one star. So back to, make sure we're over here, right? Your circle. We go back to blue, right? We make it a thin line. Just as a, if you're on a pivot or you're trading off pivots, it's likely to touch that other line. You can use that as an exit or just have a high likelihood that it's gonna go there. Okay, Maybeans 1522 is a three star pivot. Let's go right up there and make it yellow and make it super fat. Oh. Make it yellow, make it super fat. There we go. Then we got 1537, which is held over and over again. Make that yellow, because it's three stars. Or at that point, it was only two stars. So we're going to make that one orange. And we're going to make it two point font. And then that's all we have. 